Look at me, 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 look at me now. Fuck, are you kidding me? You're my dude. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab, right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. All right, here he is for my money, Michael, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Choi is four years the elder. He is two inches taller. The reach is the same. Now to get a start of the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Bam Bam! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 14 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Busan, South Korea, the Korean Super Bowl You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big-time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big-time athletes? Lance with a right hand. Right hook to the head block. Attempts the front kick there. Joy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this time. Beautiful kick. Oh, 
Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Big leg kick land. Good punch land. Slips the shot. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny does. <laughs> it does feel good to get kicked like that. Drop that hook. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. To the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by the Korean Super Bowl. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Choi's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Nice punch, man. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball who becomes twice his size. This guy today is looking at both dispensers. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, nice punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice. Lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice job with that follow-up shot as well. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Punch over the top. DC second round is getting yeah, underway. Round one, right. not the round of the year necessarily, but some good enough. And it's not always going to be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. Leg kick checked by Choi. Beautiful strike. 
Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Choi. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big punch land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. out of range with the big right hand. Boy, big shot land. Way to hide that leg again. Right hand land. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Nice kick. Got clip with the right hand. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that's leading the dance. Nice punch lands over the top. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Just missing on the uppercut there. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Sneaky head kick. Connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. And they separate. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, you man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping on the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows.
All right, so a huge round for him there. His opponent will need Motrin tomorrow. Oh. A lot of head kicks in that previous five minutes. He took way too many head kicks. He was trying to go forward. He was trying to pressure. And when he was doing that, he was carrying his hands low. And his opponent was just wrapping that kick up and over the side of his guard. Credit to his opponent for finding this shot, but really bad on him for not really making the adjustment to stop him. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to pile up these body shots here in the latter stages of this fight. You didn't see a lot of that in the earlier rounds, making up for lost time here. That's a big strike right there. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Both fighters throwing heat now. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Just missed on the front kick there. Now connects with the right. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Blocks the shot. Oh, that's a nice strike. Real quick legs here. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Joy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. His head still attached to his body. The last time I saw an uppercut like that, it was over him versus his Dodgers. And you know he still haven't found Alex over his head. The next with a right. Throwing that jab, no good. Lands flush with that right hand. Oh, collar tie. Big punch land. Ooh. Nice leg kick lands. Switching stances here. Joy's looking to go from the full to the half guard here. Opponent not having it. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. I love what grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you got to like the output on display here. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Oh, that's a good right hand. 
Well, a case of pick your poison here. If you drop the elbow defensively to lessen the body damage, you open yourself up on the stairs. He is in some serious trouble now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Looking to set up a knee of his own. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Musk. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high, and you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Trying to hammer that beat leg. You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Great punch landed with so much power. Leg kick. Big kick land. Real nice body to Nice combination of strikes there by the Korean Super Bowl. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Oh, he's hurt! He's got him hurt here. And he caught the kick. Joy going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Nice. <laughs> Big roundhouse now just misses. Oh, nice right hand. Big head kick land. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Trying the flying knee there. Big head kick land. Oh, look at the welts all over that right thigh. Really starting to bruise now. That one stuck in. Nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. 90 seconds now to go in the round. It almost looked like he went and lived there for a second. Overhand block there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, 
Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Just misses with that one. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lands a good combination. Oh, big right hook, but a whiff. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. 30 seconds to go in the round. That was a thudding leg kick. Pretty good right hand. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter. Lesson one in boxing class. Hands up, chin down. Ooh, what a punch. Big leg kick land. Another leg kick land. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so the is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Nice loop and punch. Oh, good kicks. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Just missing on the uppercut there. Keep your hands up, protect your face. The Korean Superboy gets done there by that stiff jab. Can't take many of those, you better check. Nice one, two there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Big kick. Plus right hand is true. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Man, look at the red starting to appear on the left side of his body. His opponent would... Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Under two minutes now to decide this one. Oh, big 
big knee. Twenty. Whoa! <laughs> big kick land. Changes his stance. You'll see. It. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he yeah. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then... Oh, yeah! Under a minute now to go in this one. with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Visibly limping here. Oh, nice. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Good stick. Oh! Oh, he might be out. Big combination. What a 15 minutes put forth. Official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. And the winner, by unanimous decision, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Hong Right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person